So in one of uh, Asmogold's most recent videos, he talked about my full review of New World after playing more than 500 plus hours. Now, if you, I had, I watched the entire video. It's like 40, almost 50, almost 50 minutes in which he talks about the different aspects of the game that are just some of the reasons that you know, some of the things that New World needs to work on. Now, of course, one of the biggest features of the game that Asmogold failed to actually participate in was PvP. And PvP is what the game was designed around. In fact, the studio director uh, w said that PvP is the spine of the game. Now, in another video that I did, which I'll link above, talking about you can't incentivize flagging. It just doesn't work, especially among non-competitive players. It's not that these people just want to PvE. It's that these players don't want to compete. And that's, that's, that's what PvP basically at its fundamental feature stands for it's other players wanting to compete against other players uh, but one to see who's better but two to hone their skills and to become better this is normal typically around masculine men you'll typically see competition in some way shape or form whether it's in the gym or it's on the basketball court football court whether it's in corporate world or at work wherever you're at or whether it's for you know, chasing after women in some way, shape or form. Typically, men who can compete want to compete and those that can't refuse to. They refuse to get better. They refuse to work on themselves. They refuse to go out there and to compete in the real world because they realize that when push comes to shove, that they really don't have what it takes in that sort of an environment to compete. And this is why you get forum posts like this, where one of the most recent changes to New World is that they're going to be adding plus 30 gathering luck bonus while flagged. And of course, a lot of the PVEers are complaining, they're forcing me to PVP. And this is what I said, is that no matter what you gate, if you gate something behind a PVP wall, they're going to complain that you're forcing me. And the post goes on to say, this is seriously why? Because of all the PVP crybabies, even though he's the one on the forum making posts crying to the developers. It says most of the farming gear is garbage stats. Nobody's forcing you to wear farming gear while you're flagged. And he says, so now if you want me to farm and I have the added and have the added bonus, I have to I have to be disadvantaged in PVP. If this is what you're complaining about, that you have to wear farming gear. You're already disadvantaged to begin with, whether you wore PvP gear or not, because you're not a competitor. And that's and you know that, which is why you post stuff like this on the forums. Where he goes on to say, and that he'll be open for easy attacks from behind. And this is what these people worry about. Players like me, on the other hand, I'm look, I'm hoping that I'm going to be attacked because it adds a layer of dynamic content that the developers can not create. No matter how much content you put out there, it, it involves simple mechanics that once you understand how these mechanics works, either in the, you know, the, the regular PVE mobs or you go to a dungeon, once you understand the mechanics, it makes for easy completions. And there's really not much of a, you know, once you complete something the first time you do it again and again and again, because it's repetitive. And on top of that, you understand the mechanics well there's not really much of an achievement there but it's completely different because each player skill that you come across will be different maybe it won't be just one player maybe it'll be two or three and now you have to in essence rise to the challenge to see whether your skill will allow you to overcome the odds that doesn't really happen so much in pve it's very much mechanic based which is why developers have to churn out so much content you know every every quarter because the PVEers will get bored and then they'll just move on to another game but that's not the case with pvp pvp is dynamic and so it doesn't require developers to go out there and make a lot of content a lot of a lot of the content is driven by the players themselves and this is one of the things that is missing in, in New World. So he goes on to say, if, if I don't wear the farming gear, I says, what am I looking for? A 5% increase while farming? This is not enough to make it worthwhile to drop the farming gear. He says, Tra trying to force farmers and PVEers to PVP. And there's been several of these threads created. And it's why I said in my original video, you can't force people who are not competitive by nature to PVP. In fact, Asmogold in his very own video says, he never did the PvP. Why? Because he sucks at PvP. And so he missed out on a whole world 
of content, of player-driven content. Of course, he was bored uh, by the PvE. There were some aspects of it that really look cool. The atmospheres in many of the dungeons are beautiful to look at. And there's a lot of different variation for a PvP game. Now, for a pve -er, like Asmo Gold, there isn't enough variety. That's one of the things that he talks about in his video, that there just not, isn't enough variety in the types of mobs that you come across. Even though you go to these different lands, they're literally just sort of copy-pastes of mobs that you meet when you first land on the beach, whether it's the different type of Lost or the Corrupted, etc., or you're fighting, uh, what is it they called, the, the Angry Earth or whatever they're referred to as. They're literally just moved into different areas and they're just given different levels. They hit harder, so they just kind of level up, etc. Now, in a PvP game, nobody cares because what you're doing is you're just going through the content to get the rewards and fight in different areas. Now, that's a huge aspect of the game that is completely missing, especially on some of the smaller servers like the server that I'm on. PvP now, at this stage of the game, is basically non-existent because so many players have left the game. In fact, Amazon has lost roughly 90% of the player base. And when you talk about this on the forums, people, people are just like, well, this is normal. This is normal in an MMO. No, it's not. It is not normal for an MMO to lose 90% of its player base literally within the first month. That's not normal. The reason many people left is because what Amazon promised was, which was this PvP game that was going to have PvE in it, and it just turned out to be this huge farming simulator where you're literally running from one point to the next, looking at a bunch of people who are just not flagged, hoping to find someone that's flagged. And this created all sorts of problems within the games, which was catering to players like this. And these people basically have also abandoned ship at this moment. So for Amazon to go out there and to cater to the casuals like Amazon, like uh, Asmo Gold, it didn't work for them because these individuals are not going to stay around. They're going to go back to WoW. They're going to go play Final Fantasy. They're going to go play ESO because those games have extensive PvE in them and come out with regular content that revolves around PvE. But what new, what was going to separate New World from many of the develop, from many of what was going on was PvP. And in fact, when they announced in this video right here that they were going to make changes as to the direction they were going. They got heavily ratioed by their player base. And this was in the video where they said we were going to move away from PvP and we we're going to go more towards PvE. And everybody, including myself, responded with what the with what the studio director said was the foundation of the game. As it goes on to say, the spine of the game is player versus player combat. You'll probably be murdered in New World. So yes players will be able to freely kill other players but we have a number of systems like sanctuary and criminal justice which add interesting consequences and drama to the experience i came to realize that the constant press of danger was a fundamental to a thrill of the game making new world a peaceful world would deprive players of the stakes of the drama of trying to forego a new life in an uncaring and supernatural wilderness and as from patrick gilmore who is the studio director and many people literally copy pasted that exact same uh that exact same sort of of quote throughout this entire thread with thousands of thousands of people posted literally that exact same thing this is what you said the game was and that's exactly what happened because new world catered to players like this what we missed out on was what he referred to as to ma making New World a peaceful world would deprive players of the stakes and drama of trying to forge a new life. And this is exactly why New World is so disappointing. The spine of the game was literally removed. And of course, there were articles that talked about how the new dev diary uh, was earning a lot of hate. And many players, of course, view this in an unsatisfactory way. And it shows in the development as New World basically shifted from being focused on PvP and growing in that niche and instead just becoming another PvE game. And it, did, and it didn't do so in a good way. That's why when you look at the game, you see the same sort of mobs. You see these, the questing system is boring. The, the type of mobs that you come across, you fight the same type of mobs over and over and over again. There are numerous mechanics in PvE that don't work. Many of the areas are just copy-pastes, which Asmogold talks about. In his video, he talks about a lot of things that are, of course, fundamentally missing from a game that would have drawn PvE players. It's because it wasn't a PvE game. That was not what uh, New World was founded on. It was founded upon the layer. And that's why, that's why a lot of the things that were 
That doesn't make sense. You have territories that you own that you can't even that you can't even fight over. It made absolutely it makes absolutely no sense. I think one player, um, I think one player down here kind of makes that comment that what's the point of fighting over these large ter territories if I can't even protect my territory? Here it is. It says, took out some of the coolest features in the game. I mean, no court system. Even Star Citizen is going to have an in-game prison to avoid this PvP toggle thing. Who cares if I own a territory, if, if, if someone unflag can walk right through? Holding land means nothing if you can't defend its resources. And that was basically the point of capturing all these different areas is because you capture them for your faction. And now you have access to the resources as it, that existed within these regions. But what does it matter if you can just literally just unflag and walk right on in and steal the resources from your opposing faction and then literally walk into their town and use use their um, their trading post? It makes absolutely no sense. Even from a lore perspective, it makes no sense. And it completely ruins and breaks immersion. I mean, for all these PVEers that are always talking about immersion and how Overwolf and you having a mini map that shows where the resources are, you're breaking my immersion. And everybody's like, how? How is me having something that you don't want to use breaking your immersion? Is it just because I know the fact that you have it, it's ruining my immersion. And this is exactly what New World catered to. And it's exactly why new world is failing and many of its players have left and it will be difficult for them to bring back many of their players there's too many things that are fundamentally broken especially when it comes to pvp you cannot incentivize pvp you cannot either you want to compete or you don't and you cannot mix the two schools of thought because all you get at the end of the day is forum posts like this and PVEers that will whine and complain about why you're forcing me to pvp even though we as PVPers are forced to run all these dungeons, skin thousands of mob, mobs, you know, mine thousands upon thousands of ore. We don't want to do this shit. Nobody wants to do this shit. We want a PVE. We want a PVP. But we realize that this is what we have to go through to get to where we got to go. But for many of these individuals, they just have a sense of entitlement. And this is the problem with catering to such individuals. When you actually log into the game and you mouse over the forts that are owned by your faction, they provide PVE rewards. But no one ever complains and no one ever thanks the PvP or said, thank you for taking that territory. Now I have extra bonuses as a result. We never talk about that. It, it's just it's just silly. And it's, this is literally just like kind of the real world. Well, real world starts to come into the fantasy world and people bring in a lot of their, uh, their a lot of their ethics, the things that that they value, it, et cetera. And this is why we in essence, we can't have nice things. The moment people put anything behind a PvP paywall. The normies are just going to cry that you're forcing me to PvP. It, it New World needs to choose which direction it wants to go. If it wants to be a PvE game, it can be. Go right ahead. You're just going to lose the rest of your PvP player base. They're just going to leave. Because especially if you're on a dead server like I'm on, it's very hard to get PvP. There's literally no open world PvP. And you queue for like over an hour just to wait for one just to wait for um one outpost rush and you're going to get in there with a bunch of people who aren't pvpers and it's going to you're, you're going to get face rolled it becomes very boring it becomes very boring especially because you have to wait so long just to get to just to do something that you want to do which is to pvp new world has to pick if it's, it's either going to go the route and cater to pvpers and make all the systems that revolve around pvp cater to pv to pvpers or it can be a PvE game and everybody else will just who wants to PvP will just leave. But you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And the result is the lack of player base. And of course, servers having to be merged and players, of course, leaving. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Feel free, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you next time.